Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Hi, Carol. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Jeremy. Mavis. Nice to see you here. Tom. Yes, Joyce, uh, we start at 3, but uh, I was asked to start a little bit earlier just to say hi and talk with people before we start the class. Hi, Christy. Nice to see you here. Marianne. Oh, Puerto Rico. Hi, Eva. Red, thank you. So everyone can hear me? Good, thank you, Tammy. Is there any question from the meet and greet last week? Hi, Sue. We'll need to talk, Sue. Nice to see you, Teresa. If I have some issues pronouncing your name, don't hold it against me, please. Well, I'm looking at the chat. Uh, I'm kind of reading uh, the points that we're going to get uh, through today. Just to re help me remind myself. Yes, I am aware, Joanne, that there's some uh, free pattern on NDN. Uh, nice one. Tammy, I can call you for supper. Super, supper, super, sorry, super. But uh, you're kind of my head, so I need to be nice with you. Yeah. Ah, uh, let me say last week I was stressed out. Most, a lot of people might have noti noticed that. Uh, I lost my voice after that. So no voice for three days. And I had an event uh, to do last Saturday. So it was kind of hard. Hi, hi there, B. So. Hopefully, my voice is not so bad today. Nice, Sue. We're starting design class again. Yay! By the way, uh, design class with Sue. 
did help me a lot to um, prepare for needle class. What I need to do, what I need to understand, and they helped me a lot. Bon matin, Steven. So, uh, if, even if you're a beginner and you don't think that you want to attend Sue's class, design class, uh, you should. We talk about uh, how to take, how to create and to go with, uh, find a picture or something and uh, do it with, how we can do it with the tatting. So, yeah, even beginners are welcome. And uh, we go through about everything that can pass into our mind. And it's fun, a fun class. Hi, Carol. Yes, I know, Mavis, you have enjoyed the class. So did I. So did I. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Mary. Yeah, Carol, I, I, I know you meant Ontario. Don't worry. Good news, Tammy. It's nice to hear that. So next week, uh, next Tuesday, uh, Tammy is going to have uh, a lecture and she will have a guest. So hopefully everyone could join. It should be fun. Hi, Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Oh, God. Sorry for your name. I'm wondering the same question, Tammy. Am I uh, missing anyone? So about three more minutes before we start. So, uh... oh, Tammy, you forgot Marianne. <laughs> I'll catch up on your debacle of name. Don't worry. Thank you, Anna. It will be easier. Oh. See, Tammy? I'm going to beat you. Uh, Nina? Nina? I'm sorry. I have no clue to pronounce your name. Panina, thank you. See, told you I was going to do worse than you. Hi, Teresa. I know we have two Teresa in uh, chat today, and uh, there's a good, it's a good thing that you have an A at the end of your name, because I would call it your name in French. Hi, Mary. <clears throat> so 
sorry. For yeah, thanks, Tammy. For those who are uh, already here, please hit the like button, subscribe. That will help you uh, be noticed when we have more um, videos on, and it does help us uh, to grow the channel. It's important, and if we want to um, bring tatting to more people, we need to get out there. Uh, And uh, next week, it's most of our class are uh, on the in the afternoon at three o'clock. Usually, Tammy is at three o'clock on Tuesday. I'm at three o'clock on Wednesday, and if if I remember correctly, Susan uh, at three o'clock also on Thursday. Yes, it is on YouTube. I think we got it, uh, took it simple. Uh, each class is at 3 uh, East time, 3 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Uh, so we don't go and uh, wander. Uh, I just said it, Stephen. 3 p.m. Eastern time. I'm Canadian, American, North America, Eastern time. Yeah. But usually, uh, all the class are posted posted on Facebook, and if you are uh, registered, uh, you get an email to tell you the time and the link and what you need uh, to know. Ah, uh, thank you, Tammy. New York time. Hi, Janella. Hi, Elise. You weren't supposed to have fun with your grandchildren today? Glad to have you. So. Yeah. Uh, if you get. Um, email or you're part of the Facebook group, you already registered with us. So be it needle, be it a shuttle tapping or a design class with Sue, you're, you're good. You're going to get the information. You just need to look in your junk mail for the mail so it doesn't go there and you authorize it to be sent directly and not go to John, the junk mail. So you're good. Don't register again because it <clears throat> sorry, it's a lot of work going through who was already registered if uh, they were or not. Um, I am aware that uh, the memory faculty we might forget about it but you could just send an email and ask about it and I'm sure uh, Pam or Tammy would be happy to tell you, yeah, you're fine or no, please register. You, they're going to answer. So, would you like to start? Give a thumbs up if you want to start. It's my pleasure, Barb. So, <clears throat> like I said, sorry for my voice. Uh, you might hear me uh, quite clear sometimes. So, 
Okay, let's start this. So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Katya, and I'm in. Sorry, just need to bring something closer because I'm not going to be able to do that. There you go. Let's start that again. So, my name is Katya, and I'm thrilled to be here with you today as a French Canadian. I'm excited to share the art of needle tatting with you. But before we begin, I have some important information to share on behalf of the online tatting class. First and foremost, I want to let you know that joining our group page requires registration. You can find the registration link in the description below. It's, it's a simple process to ensure the security and privacy of our members. Additionally, it helps us comply with the requirement for a nonprofit status. Our registration information will be submitted to the nonprofit organization we are affiliated with and will also be used for the establishment of our own nonprofit. So please take a moment to click on the link and register for our class. Again, it's in the description below. It's an important step to allow us to effectively keep track of your progress and provide you with access to our Facebook group and email list. Rest assured, we won't send any spam message. Our operations are solely supported by donation. Uh, ta tajwa? Hi, Tajwa. I, I hope I'm not misspelling, misspelling this. If you find your class valuable and would like to contribute to maintenance of our class and website, there are a few ways you can support us. Uh, our super, uh, super chat, super tank, super sticker. You can also visit our website and donate through PayPal. Every contribution, no matter how small, goes a long way and it helps us continue providing it high quality. Thank you for the super chat, Penina. For those who are not able to provide financial, uh, financial, finance, I'm sorry, financial assistance, there's another simple way to support us. Please watch the video with the commercial on our video. By doing so, you help generate revenues that cover our expense and keeps our class accessible to everyone. And we deeply appreciate any form of support you can provide. Thanks to those generations that you gave us, we have been able to cover the website expense until 2031. Thank you, Mary, for the super chat. We are immensely grateful for your contribution. Your support allows us to continue offering these class and sharing the art of tatting with people from around the world. So that's you guys. If you guys weren't here and supporting us, uh, we wouldn't be where we are today. And I'm pretty sure Georgia is super happy with the support you're giving um, our legacy. And it's nice to bring this um, to the next generation, the new era. Hi, Silver Flame. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, there's another thing I would like to talk about just before people start wandering. Uh, on the web, on the YouTube channel of the uh, Tatting Online class, you're going to see two type of thumbnail. The one that you usually see when Tammy uh, does does her live and the replay, and you're going to see the kind of purple br purple brownish one for needle. This is to uh, make sure that. Those who want to listen and look at needle can find it easy. And everything else is going to be under the normal thumbnails that we all know and love. So that was one something. 
one subject I wanted uh, to talk about. Thank you, Anna, for the ten dollars uh, super chat. Thank you, Mary, for the ten dollars uh, super chat. And uh, Penina for your uh, thirty dollar super sticker. Um, one more thing. If you, any of you get an email from pattingmuse at gmail.com, that's my email. Uh, some of you started to send a message that I will have to answer. So, um, you're going, might see that email, uh, coming from me to answer your question. So I just want you to know that, uh, it's me. So, now that I've covered these important details, uh, let's embark on our journey and learn something new today. Beginner's needle, if you have no clue what padding is, you're, more, you're welcome to join. If you're a shuttle padder and you would like to uh, learn needle padding, it's wonderful to have you here. Needle tatter, uh just to be honest, I'm going to share the technique and I'm going back to basic. Um, start everyone at base so we can understand what we're doing. So uh, at some point when we're going to read patterns, it we won't get confused. Everything's going to be um, easy for you and you're going to have more fun and less struggle with what you're reading. So today I'm going to start with a bit of, I call it history, but it's not really history. Um, so I'm starting with a question to all of you. Needle tatting, how long has it been around? Can anybody answer that? Needle tatting's been around around yeah the uh, 1850 and maybe earlier than that, but that's the numbers uh, I was able to find. The way they used to do needle tatting back then is not the same way that we do it today. Um, the needle was a lot shorter. And they were doing it the same way as shuttle. Let me go down. Uh, I'm going to get ready to start showing you some stuff. Uh, so I'm going to change to down shot. And while that's going on, I'm going to pull my air up so I can see more clearly what I'm doing. There we go. In uh, in the early days, needle tat uh, needle tatting. Um, they uh, use a darning needle. Last week, I, I was asked uh, the type of needle or uh, what we can use instead of the needle tatting that we have, and somebody said a darning needle. I don't have a darning needle. I have a tapestry needle, but I'm going to show you how they used to do it back then. So. Oh, dear, stop. They used to take a small needle, like this. I'm going to thread it, and I'm going to show you.
Oh, I forgot my eyes. Let me put my glasses on. So. Let's thread that needle. Oh, sorry. I think my camera is having some issues today. So, they used to do it a needle. And uh, to do it the same way that they should, they used to do it. I don't like that. Sorry. I was practicing earlier uh, the uh, reverse uh, Riego technique for shuttle. Yes, there will be a replay. So that's not the way it, it was. Hmm. So it was done like this. Like sorry, my fingers all over all over the place. And that's that's how they used to do it with the needle. The reason why it's uh, before they knew how to join their um, project, their elements between each other, they used to do it with the needle. It was easier to poke on the element the side inside the head of the double stitch. So yeah, that's the way that's the size of the needle they used to work with back then. But then there was a, a lady um Jiffy, I don't remember. Tammy, I don't remember her name. I'm sorry. Selma? Selma? I think. Um, she uh, always wanted to learn uh, tapping. And uh, because she was blind, she wasn't able to do it with the shuttle. Then uh, she went and uh, to school and met some nuns. Who taught her how to um, tap? Hi, Arlene. And uh, in time, in the beginning of the nine, uh, the twentieth century, century, nineteen something. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, she created with her husband uh, those long needles that used to be called Jiffy Tatting Needles that are long. There's a book for me. Ah, they made the, the, the Jiffy Needle. So I don't have the, those needles. I'm sorry. I'm mad. Okay. Look at this. Magic. Just good thing. So they create the long needle. So if you can see the size between them, it's kind of huge. So yeah. I know the Jiffy needles are hard to find. Uh, now Handy N has them. Uh, lasses, I think. Laces, lasses, laces. Couldn't call it like I called it lasses. Uh, do have some. And uh, Avil is another company. Uh, the one I like the best are 
uh, from NDM uh, because what they have a size is good for most of the thread. So yeah, so the long needle that we use today has been around not even from uh, for a hundred here. So yeah, um, sorry, my phone is killing me right now. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so the techniques that we learned with the shuttle hasn't been all creative, <clears throat> sorry, or work with the needle. And there's techniques that's done in the shuttle that they call easy for beginners but are no way for beginners in needle. So that's why I'm going to uh, do these class. It's going to be based on techniques, not on patterns. Sorry again. <clears throat> They're going to be uh, mostly for techniques how to do something, then I have a pattern, I want to do the, that pattern. The goal for this class, well, the series of class, is so that you are able to take after that any pattern and you know how to do them. You know the technique. You have to work the technique. We are going to uh, work the project. Just a second. Remember this, a sample book. Um, Elma, uh, Selma, give, give me a few seconds. Uh, or Pam, can you give me the name of the Jiffy Needle lady and husband? I think it's Selma. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, there's, you can still get her book. It's rare, so if you find a copy, you can get it. It's rare. Um, so we're going to be working on uh, sample books. Each technique, we're going to uh, make something, small patterns, just like this. Okay. Now the, pay, the plastic's still on this one, hopefully it won't. And we'll have some border uh, edging, uh, some small motif that you're going to practice the um the technique so today we're we going to look into the double stitch on the needle i'm going to show you how to do it uh with the right hand and the left hand there's two ways you can do it and give you some explanation um and tips why? Because we have both uh, two ends and there's a reason. For those who want to know, I love, I like um, homeworks. I have, I like people do some homework. The only thing I'm going to ask this week is the, to practice the double stitch. Um, it, just to be at ease and that you stop thinking of, do I need to uh, wrap my finger this way or this way? There's no not going to be uh, a ring made today. I'm keeping that for next week because next week we're going to start some small motif and work on the book. Yeah, thanks, Barb. Uh, that's what but that's what I was uh, able to find also.
give me a few seconds. I'm going to just. I'm just looking for something so I can share it with you. Um, um, Selma Morin's, uh, uh, Morin and Ed Morin. There's, okay. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I'm going to share Canadian Amazon link. Hopefully, you'll be able at least to see what I'm talking about. But that's the book. So this might help you all. So today, like I said, we'll talk about how to do the double stitch. With the needle to the two ways. You don't need to, if you don't have your needle set yet, because the needle that you need is, remember, whoops, you have the set, a green set like this, this one, and you have the blue set from an uh, NDM, you need the blue set. Green or for yarn, we're going to see that a lot later. You don't need it right now. You need the blue, get the basic set, the kit. You're going to be set for a long time after that. Two is better because at some point we're going to need two needles to do some, um, some work, but not at this moment, not for the couple next, next, uh, We have all uh, a main end and the off end. We're either uh, left handed or right handed. I'm less uh, left handed. But all my work and tatting are done as a right handed, uh, -handed person. I hold my tools in the right hand. And I work the thread with my left. When I uh, shuttle that, I my looms are around my left end, not my right end. The reason for this is that um, the off end is always there to support the main hand. We have a, some dexterity in our off end, and find our finest dexterity is in our main hand. So, when you need to work and practice and manipulate uh, small tasks, tasks that need more fineness, more, more dexterity, you're going to use your uh, main hand. But you're often still there to be able to pick up your tools. Uh, all your, when you write, it holds your paper on the desk. It's, it's there to support your main hand. That's why we have basically two points. So now I'm going to show here if you're away. I'm remember I'm left-handed, but I hold my tool on my right uh, in my right hand because basically your needle or your 
when you work, even when you work with a shuttle, the ba- the movement that you need to do with him are basic. So your offense is able to do that. So you can concentrate with your main hand to do the finest um, manipulation with that hand. So let me start with, I'm going to get some stuff out of the way so you can see better. Um. Uh, split ring, uh, with a second, you don't need a second needle for the split ring. The split ring for, uh, needle tatting is with one needle, but I'll get that, uh, in due time. Right now we're going, I'm showing how to do with today the um, double stitch with the needle. And next week we're going to, uh, learn the true ring how to do the true the true rings for a needle so when i there this is one way i only put the thread around my three last fingers close it and go like this this is the way wrap under slowly put put your finger behind the needle grab the needle here, like this, and slide it. Most people will slide like this, and then towards them. Just the way we should do it, same thing, wrap around. That's the first movement. Bring it there, and bring the knee, your thread like close to the other hand. So it's close. The other one is you put your finger under, twist your hand, and go take the loop behind, take your fingers off, and bring it. The movement is towards your end, not towards you, but towards your end. Yeah, uh, I think it, yes, Bar, that would be nice. So let's do that again. Wrap under, cross needle over the thread, under the thread. I'm going to, like this, take the finger off and pull the thread towards the end. Going to try to do it this a little bit closer to you. So the other one is you bring the finger under the thread, rotate under, rotate, you get the thread behind, take the finger off, and close it towards you. Again. Like this, over, and towards the end, under, with, take the loop behind, there, and slide towards. So you can see the double stitch here. So that's one way of doing it. The other one is, I'm not uh, a big, how can I say that? I'm not somebody who used that one. The first one I showed you is the one that I usually work with. But some people work with their thumb. So they go uh, over, same movement, take the loop. Slide again, it's the same base towards you. Slide the thread towards your finger uh, under, twist, 
take the loop. You need to make sure that it's the yarn. Anna, the way I'm doing it right now is the way that right-handed people do it. This and again, like this. Okay, if you can see carefully, I kept uh, the first way of doing it. With the second way, they look the same. Yes, uh, that's the one, Jack, uh, Marion, that you do. You're going uh, this way, and then that way. This way. That's fine. That's called, I call that an hybrid between both way of doing it. There's, as long as your double stitch are done on the needle and they look like this, sorry, you're good. Everything's fine. So that's the way of doing it. Now we talked about, uh, for those who said that they're left-handed, I'm going to keep that one there. I'm going to grab another ball of thread. To show you um, For those of you who are going to um, figure this out, yeah, I'm I'm doing uh, I'm threaded the the needle the old fashioned way, but I shouldn't be doing that. I was trying to thread uh, a size uh, five needle with uh, because. This thread I'm working to show you uh, how to do it is this. So let's do this the other way. First of all, thread on the other side. So thread again. In focus, in place, don't move. Okay, so we go under, crossed over, slide the needle like this again. Then under, behind, take the loop. There's the first double stitch. There, in front. Here, bring the, knee, the stitch there. Second movement, 
under, behind, and from. Again, in front, like this. Like this. Did everybody follow that? It's the same movement done with the other hand. So that was the first. Now I need to remember the thumb part. Uh, yeah. Over. Grab here, let's go, bring it, under, go behind, loop, down, again, over the thread, wrap it, this, yeah. under, wrap it, this. Yes, there is a double stitch, is a double stitch. Then again, like this. Now, I'm going to show you something. I didn't wrap the, um, the thread around my thumb the right way. So, I'm going to bring it closer. Can you see here? Can you see double stitch here? And look at the loop. Let's try. You trying to figure to show you. So how to do so this way? Over, wrap, under, wrap. So it's exactly the same. Let's see how to bring. It's exactly the same for both. Now, um, let me go back up. Now, uh, like I said, if you want to try it, I know I talked about that uh, with other uh, student uh, and even real life student like Stephen is one of my uh, in-person student. A good friend though um and uh about changing the idea of you need to do it basically holding your tool that can be either the shuttle the needle whatever if your main hand is the left try to hold your tool on your in your off hand and try to work the thread uh with your dominant hand at first, it might get uh, weird. Your brain might go, mm -mm, I don't like that. I'm not going to do it. Try it more once, twice, maybe thrice, three times, just so you can um, get used to it. Because with time, if you use your main hand for the finest uh, dexterity, like uh, wrapping your your thread around your fingers or the loom for the shuttle tatter. That's the end that needs to work the most. And your off end does it only needs to hold the, either the needle or hold the shuttle and turn thread around their hand. Try it. So, uh, yeah, muscle memory too. But it's going, your tension is going to get a lot better faster if your main hand is the one who do most of the work and not your half hand. And when I say most of the work is that when, when you work um, 
your end and you're going like this, you hold your tension with either your fingers or the way you hold it. That's fine motricity, dexterity. You need to be close to that. But when you do with your offense, that that we need to learn the cur learning curve is a lot more hard because our brain is trying to teach our offense to be a main hand when it's not supposed to. That's why we have people who are uh, basically ambidextrous and can work both hands, like I did needle tatting right now. So think about it. Uh, I know. There's people that's been tatting for a long time, and I do understand they don't, they wouldn't want to try working tatting with uh, the other end because they're used to. But for those who are new, I would suggest for you to try it uh, up here uh, in Quebec. Uh, there was a time when we, when the student that was left-handed uh, wasn't allowed in class in class to uh, use their left hand. So they had to learn a lot uh, to work with the right hand. Even today, most I'm just going to call the um, scissors. Most scissors are done are created for right-handed people, and left-handed people as uh, are obligated to learn to work the scissors with their right hand when it's not natural to them. So I wish that you could try what the, what I'm try to work with your hand like you're supposed to. We're in a new era, and there's a lot of conception back then that back then that they had. It was perfect for their their time. But today we know more, we understand more, and everybody can tap. Everybody can learn it. My mom uh, had uh, an accident when she was a kid, and she lost part of her finger, her index finger, and she wasn't able to tap. She had uh, her sister in law who tried to uh, teach her, and it wasn't working. And it's not only because uh, she had a part of her finger cut out, she wasn't able to hold the loom with the shuttle, and she wasn't able to hold the shuttle and wrap her finger and hold the shuttle to do the movement to do the flip. So she was sad with that. And I, I really think that anybody can learn it, especially with the needle today. It's, it's a great uh, new tool. I'm, we're going to say it. It's new and it's not new, but we're starting starting to learn a lot about it a bit more. People are more interested in needle tatting than they used to. That's marvelous. I love the idea. And uh, I can understand also the side of the shuttle tatter because I do shuttle tat also, both hands. Yes. Uh, just so people, yes, I work. When I work, I work. Both hand, uh, shuttle, needle, left, right hand, just to keep everything and the muscle memory there. Uh, are you, am I still there? Hello? Okay, still keep. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Um... So for those shuttle tatters that are listening today, I do agree that needle uh, shuttle tatting is a very, very old art. And we call it a lost art that shouldn't be. But we need to agree that with time, uh, we don't know what can happen with our end, what the future holds for our health and our end. Uh, and I've seen some of my students that were uh, shuttle tatter uh, that came to me uh, in sadness because they weren't able to shuttle tat anymore because of their fingers and because of their end and because of health issues. And when I show them just how to hold the needle and work with the needle, 
it felt like they got their life back because they were able to do tatting again. So remember, it's just a tool like Teresa said, if I remember correctly. The art at the end is the same. And yes, you can achieve the same stiffness, stiffness that you get with the shuttle. Uh, you just need to understand the tool that you are going to use and why to use them. I'm going to show you one last thing because we're not almost done, but almost done. Uh, and that's kind of some goodies that I've been uh, doing lately. I wanted to show you some difference with thread size done with needle size. Just give me a few seconds. I'm going to go to the down shot again. this away so I made okay I didn't hide any uh, ends well some maybe but not all so hopefully you're going to see when I do uh, oh it's pink I'm going to do it like that when I do some samples and I am not putting them in the book, like I, the page I showed you earlier. I usually have um, not sure. I'm not sure how to call them, but those pin, closing pin. I put a card and I write on them. And this, I'm not sure. I'm, maybe there. Can you see what I read? I wrote, not read. I put the thread and the size I use on one side. And on the other side, it's supposed to be a uh, needle size seven. So these were done with needle size seven. And it's size 10 thread. Both are the, oh, maybe you might be able to, do you see green ones there? Green. Same thing, same batch. I'm going to get the, I wanted to show you the difference. This. I'm missing one, just a minute. Okay. There we go. Okay. When you get the, your pack of needle, behind, they say, uh, let me get that out of the way. They say that for size, uh, Three, ten, smaller sport. It you can use the number three needle for size um, twenty, ten, pearl. You can use the size five needle. Thank you, uh, Anna. See you next week. And then the size uh, seven needle. They say you can use fifty, forty, thirty, twenty pearl. Those are all sides. So I decided to show you some stuff. This there. This is done with the size three needle and size ten thread. You see how I'm sorry to say that, but I how floppy it looks. When you pull the stitch together, you know, you can see you get space. That's normal. And that's something that you're going to have and get when you start. Don't worry about it. We're 
going to get the explanation why. So that's done. Now I have um this one. Same type of thread, but with the needle size five. To compare both, there's big difference. Oops, sorry. You can see already. You can see the difference in the firmness between both just by looking at them. This is done with a size three needle size 10 thread. This is done with the size 5 needle, size 10 thread. Okay. Now you want to have a look that something that looks a lot more like, sh like shuttle with the needle. Let's look at this one. See it? Look. That's size 10 thread with a needle size 7. You can see the difference of the tension. So, by using different type of needle and knowing how to work them, you can achieve different things. You might all be wondering why uh, the difference. Shuttle tether, when they uh, flip their knot, they flip their knot around the thread. So the knot gets close and snug around the thread. When we uh, needle tat, the thread can go as close as the size of the needle. So the bigger the needle is, the more space you're going to have between as in uh, where the car thread pass so that space that emptiness and this in uh, the double stitch inside the, the core i'm sorry i'm having difficulty finding the right word but they kind of collapse on the thread after everything's passed in the air so that's why we learn with Big, bigger needle, bigger thread, and then we adapt with the size of needle. That's the main reason I told you to get the uh, the kit, the needle kit, with the four uh, size needle in it. Because you're going to learn how to do that. You're going to learn uh, the way of doing it. Uh, look. This, let me place it. For those who are wondering, that tiny but apply. I really hope you like it because that's the project that we're going to learn next week. This project is done uh, with the, the true ring technique, and we're going to learn how to do that. And that's going to be our first little uh, sample to put on our book. So I'm going to go back up and see if there's any question so uh get back there there we go so what i'm what do you think what do you any question Thank you, Barb. But I have so many terms and need to learn from French and English, and it's enough coffee, Stephen. Enough. Thank you. Uh, the butterfly, uh, I created that uh, butterfly back in 2008. Uh, for an event, uh, because I was asked to replace um, somebody who was doing a speed tatting event at uh, a seminar, and she got sick, and I was asked to stand in for her, and I had to cr 
create the pattern real fast. Um, easy one, fast one, and the competition was the person who did the most butterfly in 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, and that was the first Python I created for teaching. And that's the pattern I usually use when I do a demonstration class. Uh, I invite people to assist in, uh, in real life, in person. And if they want just to try it to see if they're going to like it, that's the first um, class they, uh, they learn. After that, they get in uh, the, the rest of the group and join with the, the beginner's class. So, thank you, Barb. So yeah, I'm I'm big on techniques. I need to know where, why, uh, why the fingers doing it like this, going that way. So I'm taking what I've learned and uh, practice with my uh, in in person student uh, to see if it works and I'm going to show you that uh, with you all but I do want people to understand that it's not going to be a fast class we're going to learn technique and you need you need to learn your foundation you need to learn the basic if you want to be able to do the artist technique and get more advanced and by doing so, you're not going to get confused and you're going to know what you're doing and everything's going to be easier. That's the way I teach and that's the way I'm going to teach those class. So hopefully uh, you're going to enjoy. I do wish that Shuttle Vatter will try it if they wish, uh, but I encourage everyone to do it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Is there any question? Butterfly, when you know what you're doing, it is easy. There are difficulty, but it is easy. Oh, where did I put it? Where is it? Last week I shown uh, my two first butterfly I made with Georgia. Now I can find them. They flew away. I'll forget them for next week. They flew away. Okay, Carol, for the journal, uh, I know last week people were uh, asking about that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make your journal and what we're going to put in and what to put in. Um, so uh, you are not going to be uh, left alone. I'm going to show everyone, and we're going to kind of have maybe uh, a, a time to, okay, let's do some craft and do the, 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 the journal and start it and give my point of view and how you can do it and help you along. It won't be at the beginning because I want you all to have a bit more than just one piece to put in your journal, uh, but I'll show you and I'll talk to you through it all the way to the end. So don't worry, I'll be there to guide you. But that's going to be the main project. You are welcome, Reb. Thank you, Mavis. Silver Flame also. Phew. Glad you think it's a lot of uh, diversity. You're welcome, Joyce. Anything else? Oh, there'll be um, the the <laughs> The journal you show, uh, you saw that I'm showing you, I'm redoing it from scratch. It was kind of a tease. Uh, well, I showed it because we talked about that in design class. And that's why I showed it uh, on Facebook. And I didn't mention that I was going to redo it. I want to redo it for shuttle and I want to redo it for needle. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff that's missing on the journal that I'm going to add uh along and yes you will have the english version and you will have what the information you need in english and for those in french and french and you have the choice between 
uh, I might even have help to, with uh, other that speak other than language. I might uh, like to help you translate correctly the stuff. I would be open to that. But yeah, I'm not going to leave you uh, alone. I'm going to be there. Ask your question. Facebook group, please ask your question. I'm there. I'm asking, I'm answering them. So, and I, if I don't, I read everything, even though, because sometimes I'm not able to answer right now. So don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. You are welcome, Leah. Thank you, Pam. Yes, please hit the like button. I would be agree, greatly appreciated. Uh, I think that's what I had for today. <clears throat> well, that's all my throat can stand for today, should I say. Um, so, yeah, uh, hope you enjoy your class. And hope I'll see you all uh, next week. Thank you, everybody. Bye.